This is my pot pie dough. I rolled it yesterday. Chicken pot pie, or as the Pennsylvania Dutch call bot boy, is the Wednesday special at the Brownstone Cafe in Middletown. I make nine trays of this for a uh, it's like 40, 50 gallons of pot pie. You could call Mike Kiesling a chicken pot pie expert. After all, he's been making it for the past 25 years. For the dough, it's just, it's just a simple recipe. It's eggs, flour, and salt, and chicken stock. The key is to have a good broth. Yeah, we're almost ready there. Mike starts with chicken base, pepper, and water. Then comes the celery and the onion. I'll saute it in a pan with some uh, margarine and just sweat it down and add it to my broth. Now I'm going to start dropping the noodles in. This is where time is your friend. Oh yeah, if you rush it, 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 it don't turn out right. Once noodles are added to the broth, bring it to a boil, then add potatoes and chicken. Mike cooks this separately before adding it all together. This is the finished product. This is the puff pie. What else? Like my mom used to make it when I was a kid. You know, it's just like mom made it. Now, Mike, Mike says he does not order it out when he goes out because he makes it all the time. <laughs> he makes it a lot, right? And he uses a, an Amish recipe. So yes, he, it and looks and delicious. There's a lot of things you can put in your chicken pot pie. Yeah. And the question of whether have you the crust or not the crust, I right. know that's always debated. Peas and carrots, where you throw those exactly. in there. Exactly. See, he does make the traditional pie, you know, mm -hmm. with the crust in as well, but they also serve it without the For crust. For me, that looks perfect. I mean, that's Pennsylvania Dutch. And today's cooking the day, right there. all you can eat there at the oh, Brownstone Cafe. Wow.